planter earlier in this film. We'll go now to Grosvenor Farms in Cheshire to see a stand and planted bed being harvested, to look at the harvester and to hear what the manager, Mr Philip Raines, has to say. By the way, the rocking motion of the harvester is being caused by mini dams built into the wheelings to prevent water runoff. His harvester has been set up for beds, which entails full width shares and a pair of half dablo rollers. With any bed system, a lot of soil must be lifted, so it's important that it can be separated out. This is where the statesman comes into its own. We found the um, stand and statesman machine to be a very, a very kind harvester to the potatoes. Uh, from the other harvesters we have experience with, it seems uh, to have far fewer drops in the, in the machine to cause damage. Its capacity seems to be very impressive. We can certainly get through the, the, a, a good tonnage in a day with it, although on, uh, on the early crops we're on at the moment, we're probably only just starting to approach its limits. We've operated our current uh, stand and statesman for approximately a month now and have been so impressed with it that we have actually ordered a second machine uh, to help lifting the main crop uh, uh, potatoes earlier, later on in the season. To meet grower demand, the Lockwood roller table is also offered as a kit for use in grading lines. Various widths of table are on offer, from 6 roller up to 20 roller. This little 6 roller table demonstrates how effectively small potatoes are retained in the system. Each table is supplied with a power pack, complete with roller speed adjuster and auto reverser. This Norfolk company has two Lockwoods, one in a harvester and one in their pack house. For them, the big advantage is that the table will clean up a salad potato sample without losing any in the cleaning process. Potatoes as small as 10 mil stay in the system, yet all the dirt and rubbish is lost. In a wet year, like 1992, the roller table kit proved a godsend to a lot of growers in that it allowed them the advantage of the roller table without necessarily having to invest in a new harvester. Let's take a break here to consider two other machines in the stand and potato range. More and more growers are turning to the stand and pre-topper to speed up their harvest. It's offered in several forms. If the tractor is fitted with a front PTO, the topper is mechanically driven and mounts on the three-point linkage. A very close cut of top is achieved which allows the harvester to travel faster. Some growers will from time to time wish to use the topper on the rear of the tractor. This is no problem since the topper's mounting frame and drives are reversible, the operation itself being completed in a matter of minutes. without a front PTO, stand and supply the topper with an integral lift frame and independent hydraulic drive system. The same quality of work is achieved. The topper itself is well engineered with a big balanced rotor fitted with 74 curved flails which are set to match the ridge profile to be topped. A special cross web with self-opening flaps moves all the topped material to the side to deposit it clear of the rows to be harvested. For two-stage harvesting or wherever windrows are created, an extension side elevator is available. A wide variety of crops other than potatoes can be handled by the topper. Carrots. Onions. bulbs, parsnips and sugar beet. The Standen FM topper is not a cheap topper but it is the best. 
Before we look at the next stand and product, the windrower, let's remind ourselves of the advantages of the two-stage system. In a wet year like 1992, those growers using the system really benefited because they could load much cleaner potatoes with less likelihood of damage. So what are the possible advantages? Loading dry potatoes into store virtually eliminates disease spread and tuber breakdown. Windrowed potatoes pick up ambient temperatures very quickly. This reduces handling damage and underskin bruising. Any soil adhering to the potato soon dries and falls off. This results in a bright finish. A significant price premium is often obtained for bright finished potatoes, especially in a wet year. Fungicide is more effectively applied to a soil free potato, which means less chemical and better control. Bigger daily outputs can be achieved using a two stage system, especially in a wet year. The windrower is the key machine in the system. It was developed to give the gentlest handling possible of the crop. Fully hydraulic driven, the web speeds can be set from the cab. Under the windrower, a series of guides pulls sieved soil into the middle where it's rolled. This gives a level bed for the crop to be laid on, which much simplifies lifting. In fact, we can see here the statesman fitted with the optional one meter wide windrow pickup unit sweeping up the windrow without any boiling at the front or roll back on the webs. In really wet times, it can be necessary to revert to hand picking. This Cambridgeshire farmer was able to use his windrower when nothing else would work on his saturated heavy land soil. An hour or two in the air soon allows not only the potatoes but also the loose soil and clod to dry, which makes picking, whether by hand or machine, so much easier. The windrower is equally at home on onions, a crop in which Standens has an increasing interest. See here the windrower lift onions on a Suffolk farm, its high forward speed allowing in excess of 15 acres to be lifted during a working day. A set of depth wheels control the depth of digging, whilst the high throughput of crop can be catered for by simply dialing up the web speed. Loose soil is soon lost through the webs, and as importantly, the onions themselves are burnished by the sieving action. On another farm, we can see windrowed onions being lifted by a statesman, its long low angle lift web again reducing rollback to a minimum. Feeding the onions over a roller table gives excellent cleaning and continues the process of brightening them up. This grower also uses the Orlaco remote video system to allow his driver total control of the harvesting operation. The statesman can also direct dig onions if so wished. A set of depth wheels at the front maintain a constant digging depth, whilst to the rear the Lockwood table takes all the trash in its stride. A useful feature of the table is not just its cleaning ability, but the fact it will grab onions which have started to rot. Rotted onions are best left on the ground, not taken to the store. For some conditions, steel rollers can replace the rubber rollers, these being particularly effective where onions grown from sets are being lifted. Quiz time. What is this machine? It's certainly unusual looking, but if you want your stored onions to look like this, not this, this could be the machine for you. Watch this space. But back to potatoes. A well-known grower is John Kerr. We visited his farm to see his two stand and statesman harvesters at work, where he made the following comments. We have got two um Stand and Statesman harvesters. The first one we bought in 1991 uh, following a demonstration on a very wet day when there was a weather market and uh, we were so pleased with it we, we asked uh, for one to be delivered the following day but uh, it, it wasn't but it jolly nearly was. Um, we're so pleased with it in 91 we used it for the whole of the season that we then uh, decided we ought to have a second one for 92. 
and chose to have uh, a manned model so that we could achieve what we're doing today, which is trying to produce a sample when we require it that will go straight from the field, that, that is acceptable to the packers. This avoids double handling, damage, and uh, generally, we think, makes uh, a better material delivered to the customer. And then the unexpected happened. It started to rain and continue to rain. The relatively easy conditions of the previous four years became a memory as growers struggled to get crop out of sodden soil. And these were exactly the conditions the Standen statesman had been designed for. We had a demo uh, last um, autumn time, late autumn, very, very wet conditions in a very cloudy field. And we saw the machine working and we were very pleased what we saw, which convinced us to order one and to try one out this year. Today we're doing a, a trial plot and uh, I, when I got to the field I thought that I looked in the trailer where the potatoes were and there were not many clods in the potato and I thought there must have been some casual staff in the, in the harvest to pick them out the clods. Uh, but to my amazement there was nobody working in the, in the harvester. His amazement was easy to understand when one considers the conditions under which he was lifting. The soil itself was excessively sticky and presented the harvester with a real challenge. The level of clod and loose soil being fed on the rollers would, on most harvesters, have produced a trailer full of mud. However, thanks to the effectiveness of the roller table, the sample being passed over the discharge elevator system was very acceptable. And all this with nothing on the ground behind. I'm very, very pleased with it. In fact, we're so pleased with it, we've actually ordered another one to, to use in our group. Our final port of call in this film is back to Shropshire on a miserable, cold and extremely wet October day when most of the country's harvesters had been brought to a halt. Mr John Haywood, the farmer, had asked for a demonstration and confident in the harvester's ability, a demonstration is what he got. Well Andy, uh, you told me when I came down to see you at the factory that it would go in atrocious conditions and I don't think we could have found any worse conditions anywhere today. You rang me this morning I said well it's drizzling a bit here but after that it, it simply poured down. You've come, you've demonstrated the machine, we couldn't have asked for anything better. It's done a, a marvellous job in very very difficult conditions. The sample in the trailer was uh, remarkably clean. Our own harvester has just gone out of the field, it won't go. They've, uh, they've taken it away and yours is still going up and down and one or two other farmers have arrived to see and I don't think they can believe it either. I certainly can't believe it. It's done a, a marvellous job in very sticky, wet conditions. This film could go on much longer, but I think the time has come to draw it to a close. Thank you very much for watching. We will actually let the film run on for just two or three minutes longer with some of the shots that haven't made it into the main part of the film and with some of the comments made by growers which you haven't yet heard. We hope you find these too interesting. Irrigated on a Thursday with an inch of rain and on the Sunday we had an inch and a half of rain and we couldn't go on the Monday but we went on the Tuesday with a stand -in. and I don't think, well I can definitely say we wouldn't be able to handpick in those conditions, but I was amazed that the standard could keep going. Uh, what we have found this year running with the stand and statesman with the uh, uh, Lockwood rollers is that at the grading end we've been taking out 35 mil down material and we've been getting twice the quantity we'd normally expect uh, per tonne of potatoes lifted. And I can see in two seasons that in itself would virtually pay for the harvester. In common with many people, uh, I felt that certainly there was probably damage occurring on the with the action of the rollers, um, but their tests certainly show that there's no more, in fact, quite often less damage on the stand and locker rollers than on normal machines. With the tremendous extra dimension the stand and lockwood gives the harvester, I really can't imagine anyone that's in potatoes in a serious way buying a harvester without the stand and lockwood uh, in the system. 
I must say that in the uh, business that we've done with Standards to date, we've found that everyone in the company has been very easy to deal with, have been very understanding when we have had problems, and not been at all dismissive, and have been quite prepared to listen to any suggestions, uh, which makes, frankly, a pleasant change uh, to some companies that we've uh, dealt with in the past. And secondly, um, that they, everybody from the top to the bottom fully understands the, the machinery that they're actually selling and, and are quite capable of, of giving guidance to anyone as to how it should be best operated.